Doctor, based on your extensive experience in treating sex addiction, can you explain to the panel how an otherwise stable individual behaves when engaged in sexually addictive behavior? There's a complete lapse of judgment when the sex addict attempts to alleviate their feelings of isolation. And in your sexpert opinion, is Mr. Imfeld a sex addict? Oh, one of the most prolific I've ever seen. He's agreed to let me co-write a book about him. Oh, I'm going to mention you two boys in the acknowledgments. Um, not now, Stan, but, but thanks. Besides a paid witness with an obvious financial interest to Mr. Enfield, do you have anyone who can testify to the devious, reckless sexual encounters they've had with Stanton Enfield over the years? We do not. I see. We have 641. Sorry? 641 witnesses. There are more, Your Honor, but um, my memory isn't what it used to be. I do apologize. This board is not going to allow 641 people to share sordid details. How about five? You choose. Pick your favorites, Your Honor. What was the most reckless place you've ever had sex with Stan Enfield? The back door. Mm. Of my grandmother's beach house. And did you ever feel like he was out of control? You didn't go to Stanton to be in control. We once had sex on a shipwreck 200 feet below the surface. That was supposed to be our little secret, Lynette. Yes, a real igloo. Transatlantic flight. Mile High Club was always on my bucket list. I owe him. We're even now, Monty. Thank you. We've heard enough. This board is more than convinced that your deviant behavior clouded your judgment, Mr. Enfeld. I agree, Your Honor. I wholeheartedly agree. After you seek the appropriate professional help, we will reinstate you. Thank you.